In today's video, we're gonna show you how to install parging on ICF. Hey everyone, it's Cody with Up to Code. I wanna show you guys how we install parging on ICF. There's a few steps involved to do it properly and I'll explain why those steps are important. So right now I'll just jump into it. Uh, this is an ICF foundation. It's actually a one-sided ICF if you wanna get specific and a lot of my videos are filmed at this cabin that we're building. So what we like to do for parging is parging is essentially stucco without the color, right? It's just, yeah, concrete, stucco, parging, whatever you wanna call it. Now, on a conventional basement, they just smear it onto the concrete they're done with it it's super easy to do on an icf you can't do that and there's a lot of reasons why we'll get into it right now so you see some tar paper here i'll explain everything so underneath all this i'll try not to rip anything but you can see our our peel and stick which is our waterproof membrane for our basement you can see the block you can see the snap ties um, so then what we do is because you can't put tar paper directly on the foam because tar paper is oil-based and the, it'll deteriorate the foam. So you need like a synthetic building wrap <clears throat> to cover that. And then we install tar paper. Now we actually used roofing felt here because we had a couple of rolls left over and we just wanted to use it. But the most important thing and what people don't realize is you can't do parging to synthetic paper and you can't parge to this because water will penetrate through the concrete and tar paper doesn't actually bond to the cement. So that parging will actually, the tar paper will detach or delaminate from the back of the parging. And then if any moisture gets in here, it can run out and it can run out past down your peel and stick. So you also got to keep in mind, you can't do parging on top of here. So we'll actually, we'll install our diamond lath. I'll show you that in a sec, but we won't parge down below this, but it's allowed to that water gets in behind. It can just run down and out. So if you were to, if you were to parge just on top of all this, you would basically just saturate your parging and water can't drain in behind and out. You always need a drainage plane for water to escape when you're doing stucco or parging. So this is how we do it. So this would all run up underneath and behind this drip cap. This drip cap sits on top and then our building paper sits on top of this drip cap. So anything above runs off of here. You definitely need a drip cap here so that water running down this way doesn't trickle back and get into that, that connection between your parging and your siding. This is so important and I, I don't know if I've ever really seen any vinyl siders install a drip cap there. So there's, I'm getting a little bit beyond the point, but it is very important to keep these things in mind. So really layering it properly, watershed, and making sure that you always have tar paper underneath your parging, but not against the foam. So then we have our diamond lath, and I always got to look at the proper way to install it, but we use wafer screws. Mike, do you want to grab me my wafer screws and my gun? So when you install this, you have to remember ICF has a connection for exterior siding or interior every eight inches. So most people that we hire to do parging, we do all the prep work and then we just get them to put the lath on. And for some reason they still get confused as to what or how do I attach to it? We say, okay, measure in. X amount to your first tie. And then after that, it's just every eight inches. It's pretty simple. And if you wanna go every 16 or every 24, it still works. So it's not that hard, okay? Don't make it more complicated than it is. So really, what? so Mike had had this all set up for me. You can see some holes here. Mike just tacked this with shingle nails. So that's into a tie. This is into a tie over here. That's also a labeling system. Now, another little tip is if you want to just hold it on temporarily, you can just puncture it. Now, because that's felt, I'm a wimp. 
you just push it into the foam just to hold it in place till you get your lath on. You don't have to hit the ties, but the ties do just help you realize where they are. Now there is a specific way to install this stuff so that I'll show you that later. Um, but yeah, all we use is we use a wafer head screw. It's kind of out of the drywall world. We order inch to inch, well, inch and a quarter to inch and a half long, and we screw it on rather than nailing. But the ties and ICF are designed for either or. So we literally just go around and find the ties every eight inches, like I said. Once you find the first one, you're good to go. And we do diamond lath, and then it's fully prepared for your parging. So that's it in a nutshell. I know it's a lot of talking, but there's a few very important elements here. We also like to backfill way above this. We don't like to backfill just a little bit. We usually go about a foot below backfill when we parge, and that just protects the building from potential rodents and yeah, situations like that. So. Yeah, I'm gonna sign off. Thanks, and uh, remember, like and subscribe folks, come on, you gotta help me out. See ya.